And welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Today's video is going to just be a little short, sweet extra since I had a little bit of extra time and I also am trying to get good at this and practice so I, I'll take any opportunity that I can to help, to uh, improve myself on this on this platform and others and being able to do this. I wrote this down the other day and I thought that it might be pertinent to somebody. So just a piece of advice from an old rocker chick who's experienced stuff like this all my life. Being in show business, you get a lot of opinions thrown your way, especially from folks who haven't got a clue or are actually in direct competition with you. Don't base your decisions on what other people tell you. This is especially true for people. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Think about it this way. You want to buy something, but you're unaware that there are different prices and options. And you listen to a friend who's bought this item in their one spot, their one go-to spot, and their opinion, it's the absolute best hands down, don't go anywhere else, no arguments. And you go in and you buy that item, the same item that your friend has bought. The next day, you go into another place and you find that exact same item for much less money, better accoutrements, better service, and more options. So now you're stuck with this item while desiring one of the other options, all because you didn't bother to find out for yourself, you didn't bother to invest enough in your own self to find out what the real deal was. You listen to someone else's opinion. You listen to someone else's standard and you lived by that standard essentially i try to keep it simple not to mention the fact that waste you wasted all that money that you could have actually bought more food with in these times now that we actually carry literal supercomputers in our pockets everywhere we go there really isn't an excuse for not finding our own way on these things the very same thing happens with people. In fact, it's so bad now that you have folks speaking for entire communities with, an, with the authority of some god or something. I can't tell you how many times I've become really great friends with folks of whom someone else has come to me and spoken ill. Now, that's mainly because of the fact that I don't make decisions based on someone else's standards or opinions. However, I also want to find out for myself, people do lie. And you never know what kind of a quibble these people have had in the past. Heck, I've had brothers and sisters talk smack about each other. <laughs> Although that might be something different. That might be a different situation as well. Just because something is uttered doesn't make it true, doesn't make it factual and doesn't make it best for anyone other than maybe the person that uttered it in the first place. However, I think that can't possibly be true because most of the stuff you hear from these people that they want to impose on others, they are either not leading by example or you would they would never subject their own selves to what they want to subject others to. How do we know this? All you have to do is look at the many celebrities that tell you one thing and almost always get caught having preached one thing while doing the exact opposite, while professing in one way or another that it's different for them. How much do you trust someone who gives advice without living through the experience of that advice first? In fact, one of the inspirations for this video is the electronics and tech forums that my husband frequents when he has a question about some technical function or other. He's an electrical engineer. But I hear him complain daily about some fool that will get on this forum and literally take the time out to type in, I've never heard of this product. I've never worked with this product. 
I don't know anything about this product, but I'm sure that it works this way. Did you come up with that all by yourself, did you? What would make this person think that anyone would take him seriously after that? Ignorant arrogance in that field is so much of a thing that my husband has literally quit quite a few of these forums. And I've seen him go back to his actual physical library for things, although that's not going to answer a lot of his questions on like brand names and stuff like that. So he pretty much knows what's in those books. Now look, don't get me wrong. I'm all for the fact that everyone has a say so, everyone should be heard, but don't you think that maybe, just maybe, you should have something to say first? So yes, listen to others' opinions, but please, make up your own mind. Living by someone else's standards in my own life has always, always turned into a disaster. And it's a fact that has always seemed to turn out to be true. Knowledge is power. Don't let anyone ever tell you that it's not. Your own knowledge. Invest enough in yourself to find this stuff out. And it's not because other people are going to lie to you or anything like that. It's just other people have different standards. Other people have different ways they look at things. Other people have different desires. They're just different. Just a piece of advice from an old rocker chick for true freedom, in my honest opinion. I can only speak for myself, but you do you. Oh wait, that is freedom. <laughs>